Okay, so um, some areas you can start with first. I like to kind of start with the sanitary areas. Um, always start at the face. Don't use your same clippers you just used on your dog's butt and put it on their face. So when it comes to doing the face, I always like to hold, you can come a little closer. I like to hold the chin hair like this and it kind of gives you a good direction of where to go. So I turn them on and you have them facing away from the body. So I just like to kind of scoop around the eyes here because scissoring around here isn't fun because if your dog were to move like that, that would have been able to take out an eyeball. So I just kind of clean up his face like this and that's just kind of for now. And then the next one I do is I start on the belly. So again, I like to lift Dexter up and you can see all this long fuzzy hairs and that gross area. And you can see in the past, I normally shave up to about here. This gives you a bit of a buffer if they go out, get muddy, get wet. Um, so I'll just start shaving off the penis. You never go over top of it. Um, obviously if you have a girl dog, there's gonna be a different little bit down there and you never shave over it. Because if you were to shave over it and get it caught in the clippers, that's gonna be a very expensive vet bill. I know that. So again, just shaving off of it and you're getting all that hair off of there as well. I don't like to shave down in there while he's standing because it stretches the bits out, which makes it easier to get them cut in your clippers. So I just have to hold it. Not a fun job, guys. That's why you normally pay me to do it. So I'm just shaving off of it to make sure the hair is nice and short in there. And then I like to lift up a leg. Um, I'll come over here for you then. So I lift up a leg and you can see all this hair in here. I like to shave all that off and I'm using my 10 blade. It's the blade that comes with the clippers to get in there. And then the same thing with this side. So you can see, I know bud. I just shave off. You never wanna have to force your clippers through anything. That's how uh, you get skin stuck in there. And same with the armpits. So I lift up his arm like this and you make sure you feel where the hair is. And I never go right in and scoop because there's too many little flaps in there. So I just like to just take off a little bit here. And same sort of thing on this side. Again, don't go right in and scoop unless you kind of know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna show you, you just kind of take what you kind of can off without pushing the clippers down. And then the lovely butt. I know Dex, this is not fun. So I just grab the tail and I hold it kind of like this. You're kind of in the light a little. There you go. And uh, dogs will pucker when their butt gets touched so you never go over never ever go over you start on the outside and you work out so just starting on the outside and working out in like a square sort of formation I know bud. stop and then again working out never ever going over the top part there and that's how you get those little sanitary bits done so now is the time when you decide what kind of length you're doing on the dog. Um, I'm doing one of the um, lengths called a four, which is probably one of the shorter ones you can get. Um, when you're using these guard combs, if there is the slightest little bit of mat or dirt in there, it won't go through. Do not pull, stop, brush the area first. So they won't go through if there's a little mat in there. Brush the area and then try again. If you start pulling on that, it's gonna get caught up and stuck. So I like to start on the neck area and work my way down. It's probably a good time to say you probably shouldn't have worn your favorite outfit. Uh, you're gonna get hair on it and it will not come out. So just got my clippers. And you, I like to hold, so this is something I can show you guys here. So um, I put my two fingers like this and I kind of stick them in between the legs there and it kind of gives me a bit of direction to make sure that Dexter's not moving around too much. 
He doesn't like it, it's kind of embarrassing. But again, and then the trick is you have to go over the same area a lot. Uh, Dexter's hair cuts a lot easier um, than most dogs that come in, so I'm going kind of quick. Um, also assuming your clippers that you're using aren't obviously grooming quality, um, there's going to be some lot, sorry, there's going to be a lot of um, tension coming through because they're probably not going to be super sharp. So you're just going to have to go really slow. So you can see I'm getting out all of these fuzzy bits here. Then I start going down the leg. So before you get here, this is an area called a tuck up. This area here will get caught in your clippers. And so you have to never shave over it or this way. So always shave down when you get to this area here. See, it's not moving. And then you just shave down and off the tuck up. You can use your 10 blade or scissors when you're done to just kind of clean that area up a little bit. Right. You can see just kind of shaving down. Got to watch for these floppy little ears here too. And then this is a good time. I should have grabbed my slicker brush, but luckily I have another one in here. So to get the hair even, um, if it's something you're wanting to actually go through or if you're just shaving just for the sake of shaving, you always brush the hair back towards the head against the hair growth. And then again, see how much more is coming off still? And then just keep repeating this until you have a nice even layer on the top and you can't see but over on this side I'm just doing the same thing I did over there just shaving down avoiding the tuck up area so Dexter that actually helps when they shake because it kind of throws the hair back up that's good being brushed down from the clippers. Um, he's not a big fan of getting his legs done. As you can see, he keeps moving them. He doesn't want me to go down them, so I'll show you at the end how to do his legs because it takes a little bit more finesse. So what, I, what else I'm doing as well oh, there's my second dish, is you have to kind of pull sometimes. Sorry, you have to hold, not necessarily pull, but you can see he's not a huge fan of his legs. And then you have to make sure these little ears here are staying out of the way of your clippers. And then you go down and do the chest. I know, you don't like that. Um, the more they kind of move around, obviously the harder it makes it, and the more likely you are to injure your dog. So just trying to... get all the little bits I can here. Um, when it comes to the face, for Dexter, I'll show you how to do the face I normally do on him. But um, when you're shaving a dog's face, there's a little thing here. There's a little bump. Can't obviously see it, but when you pet your dog, you'll be able to feel it. So it's kind of right behind the ear. So this is generally where I start the shave and work my way down. I leave the hair on the top of the head um, just to kind of create a nice framing look, but if you're not too worried about that while well, you're stuck in quarantine, just um, use the 10 blade and hold the ears to make sure you're not going to get anything caught in there because the ears will bleed like no tomorrow. So again, I'm holding the ears, just kind of shaving off of them. Same sort of thing over here. I am holding his head, holding the ears taut, not shaving the ear. I know, bud. And I'm going to move this just so I can get 
under there, I know. They're always so, dogs are always so much worse for their owners than they are for other people. Anyway. Good so I'm just still shading down and it's gonna take a while, but you can see how kind of nice and shaved look that is now. Um, I'm gonna hold any sensitive bits you don't wanna get cotton clippers and I just shave down like this. And again, avoiding the tuck up area. And down the legs. So with dogs like Dexter that have super skinny legs, they have these tendons back here. You wanna avoid shaving as well because if you're using your big clippers, you can get in there as well. So you just gotta keep that safe. Shaving away from the butt. Um, I'm actually going to shave his tail because he has a dark tail. So I'll, I know that. I'll shave off the tail. Oh, Try not to pull it. But he's being rather dirty. So I'm just getting in there the best I can. I'm hoping you guys have at least someone else in the house to help hold the dog while you're doing things like this. Um, because especially if the dog is normally not so awesome for grooming, it's going to make it easier for you to injure them, and injuring them is not, not an option. So again, just kind of going off there. No jumping off the table. The same sort of thing here. Making sure that bit is not going to get nicked. And I'll go down the legs. All right, so when you're doing a dog's legs, I'm going to say 75% of dogs absolutely despise having their legs being touched or manhandled. Same with their paws. Um, the other thing you've got to be careful of is this other tuck up area. Um, don't shave down, again, shave off of it. Um, shaving down, if it gets caught in there, you're really gonna hurt your dog. So um, what I like to do is make sure I know where all his um, pads are, where his dew claw is, the pad on the back, and I like to hold on to the foot on the pad because if scissors or clippers got into the pads, they take a really long time to heal. So I brush up to get all the hair standing up. And then I use, I know that, I use my clippers and I shave down. So this takes a couple passes. A lot of dogs are not happy with this. Um, once you're familiar where all those uh, parts are, I'll hold on to the elbow, brush up here, and again, shave down. When doing the feet, Again, I brush the hair up. I hold my hand open so there's nothing, the dog can't lick, the dog can't get any little pieces in there. And I just cut up a little bit to kind of shape the pad. There you go. So I still like Dexter looking a little scruffy even when he's shaved, so I don't worry too, too much about that stuff. So again, with the back leg, it's the same sort of thing brush up. I hold it like this. You're standing on my clippers, sorry bud. And shave down. You want to watch out for this area again in there and just make sure your dog doesn't have any back dew claws otherwise you're going to have to put a hand over them to make sure you're not going to accidentally clip them off. So again, trying to get in there. Brushing up, fine for your back legs, and shave down. And then repeat the foot on all the legs, and all right. So there's just a lot of little detail work you have to do in here. And make sure you get all this area. They all seem to have this little divot in here. I like to push my finger on one side, brush it up, and then shave down. Kind of gets it. I'll clean up in there and then just kind of 
Move around to where you see little bits of hair sticking out and just try to get them. Again, this is crisis grooming. This is no one's going to be sending their dogs off for awards, for grooming competitions after this. This is just something to keep your pet safe at home without having to go out as it is unnecessary. Right. So areas where I'm not comfortable using clippers, like the little pad that sticks out here. Um, I'll brush this straight out. Make sure you know where that pad is. And then you scissor, always scissor away from the body. If they were to move, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the scissors involved. And that's not fun. So again, I'm just using my eyes and kind of eyeballing some hair that needs to get trimmed off. Same sort of thing over here. I got a little closer over here. I know that. So, scissor down. It feels super awkward, but it's how it works. And same sort of thing in here. Brush all the hair out. You can use a brush or your fingers and scissor down. So when you're doing the face, uh, put the 10 blade back on um, because you won't have a 30 blade kicking around unless you do. Um, I like to use the O-comb about half an inch and I again hold Dexter's face, your dog's face, by the chin hair and you start at that area, that bone, it's actually called an occiput. Um, you start there and you go towards the face. So, but you have to avoid the ears and obviously avoid the eyes and the nose. So, and then when you get the top of the face brushed forward, you can kind of scoot back and go backwards to make sure you're getting the hair in both directions. I know that. And you want to again avoid the ears and area. Once you get that part done, you can do the sides, the cheeks here. So again, I start up at the top and I work my way down. Dexter is not a fan, but you have to be careful of that ear. So that to me is fine. I know that. And then what I do is I use this comb or use your slicker brush, brush everything forward and trim away. So I start down here and I'm holding him very still. The moment I start to feel him move, you just stop, but he's actually pretty good for the scissors. So again, the points are never going anywhere where if he moved, they would get in there. And then for the actual mouth, I just brush down and then brush out. And I hold his nose like this to make sure that uh, you don't accidentally scissor the nose area. So again, trim away from the face. Watch out for the ears. Because that way, if anything gets cut, it's gonna be me. And our healthcare is free, dogs cost money. There you go. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Hold his nose, brush down, brush out. I know, bud. And trim away from the face. Make sure you know where everything is. I know, bud. Because again, if you're gonna get something, you're gonna get yourself if he moves, which is more important. There. So then it won't be perfect. But then you brush out down and just go around create more like a little muscle shape so not covering his nose right now but I kind of know what I'm doing sometimes so just cleaning that area up and his face is done um, when it comes to the ear area I like to make sure everything is super safe again so brush up brush out Brush away from anything. And there you go. And then same on the other side. And then what I would do at the end is just give him a good brush out, make sure everything's all even. Pick up his little tail. You can see there's still some pieces I'm gonna have to trim around there. But otherwise, away from the body. Never point your scissors at your dog. Point them to the sky. There you go. And I'm gonna do a little bit of touch-ups here and there. 
But overall, that's how you shave a dog.